Now this one, I dropped it a little bit further away the other day because I found a little uh, reef down here. And I wanted to try this reef out, so hopefully there'll be some lobster on it. But you never can tell, sometimes these reefs are just rock with no holes. There's one in there. And just always at the wrong end of the pot. <laughs> There we go. It's a nice one. Surprised this one didn't get a thing, well, lobster wise, because it's got a nice bit of bait, which the lobsters like, and it was right down the edge of a reef, but it's the way it is sometimes. Just little spiders again, some large lady crabs there. Okay. Right, well that's that, just the one lobster today. But that's okay, better than nothing. Right, we're about to head out again. Go and check our few pots. Do a bit of fishing. The water seems not exceedingly clear, but definitely clearer. It's going to be lower tide as well, so there won't be as much water. And you can see I've got a load of cans in the boat going to collect my water for the tank. I'm not going to do it here, as you can see if you down there. Tons of weed in the shallows, so I don't particularly want that in the tank. Right, got a little net as well. I'm going to get some shrimp after hope. Well, I'm going to try and get some shrimp or prawns just to put in the tank. Right, let's go. Well, I've come out of the bay because I was struggling with the weed in there. And there's so many little, these little green bits that hook up on your line. You don't know they're on it, but they mess up your lure. So we're out a bit further. Felt like something grabbed on as we were bringing it in, but... Is it a fish or is it weed? <laughs> I think it's a fish. Well, it grabbed it. Maybe a small pollock. Darting around a bit, might be a long nose. Can't see it yet. Definitely a fish though. Oh, it's not a bad pollock. That's all right. Not a giant. 
think I'll go back over that area. I'll just move positions a little bit and uh, yeah. Right, time to check the pots. Fishing's a bit quiet as usual. <laughs> But now the weed's getting dragged out with the tide now, as the tide goes out. Oh, there's a nice lobster in here. That is an absolute cracker. Look at the size of that thing. I was just looking at the pot and I could see the reef down there, or the rock, and the sand. It was right on the edge and I thought, oh, that's in a good spot. Sure enough. Take its tail off. It's a male, I think. It, mm, Wait a sec, because it's held onto the uh, net. Doesn't want to let go. <laughs> I'll just let it go on its own. Don't want to damage the claw. Come on. Try and encourage it to let go. It's hanging on like a like one of the brown crabs does. Normally they let go within a few seconds. Come on. It's letting go slowly, but he's not quite released it. There. Now that's what you call a lobster. Absolute beauty that. With a very old shell. When you think though, lobsters, they can grow up to something. I think it's about 15 to 20 pounds a big lobster if it's left to grow. I mean this one's probably what, three? Probably about three pound, maybe three and a half. That's a good lobster. Right, I'm going to get this pot baited back down. Let's get these little brown crabs that are in here out. And then we'll move on to the next one. And the next pot, which is literally not that far off the other one, so... Again, these were laid um, when the tide was a bit high, so I couldn't see the bottom. I can see the bottom. This one seems to be near a weed patch, but it's not against the reef. Although saying that, there is a reef here, maybe. Looks a bit empty. Oh, there's one in there. That might be size, it might just be under. I think it could be under that one. I'll have to gauge that one. Um, bait, the bait's going off a bit now. It stinks. But they do like a stinky bait. So. Yuck. What we'll do is we'll get rid of that. Move that out of the way so it doesn't end up all over my arm. Then grab this little one. And I think this is going to be under here. Yeah. 
Um, I think it's too small, but I'll get my gauge in a minute. Just gonna another piece of fish because there's some bad weather coming. So I say bad weather; it's supposed to get to be a lot warmer, but they're giving wind, and obviously you can have all the sunny light. But if it's too windy, it's no good for me. Again, this is a pot that was just randomly thrown and I have a knot in my rope. That's not a good sign when you have a knot in your rope because usually you lay your pots out. The only time you get knots in your rope is when somebody pulls them and quickly throws them back and the rope gets looped and ends up making a knot. But these have been out a few days so Hopefully. Yep, oh, there's a lobster in there. Some very stinky bait again. Yeah, this bait's definitely past its best. Uh, that lobster will be over. It's only got one claw there. Only a small claw as well. There we go. It is size, even though it's only got one claw. That um, the other lobster we had was too small, so I threw it back. And the last pot. You see this one's pretty damn close to the shore. <laughs> I can actually see the pot just down below me. There's a lobster in it. I think I saw part of one on this end. Does that mean there's one on the other end? Yep, it does. Sometimes you get that, they'll stay apart in the pot because they will fight. And he has probably been fighting, judging by the fact he's got no claws. Alright, take this out. Might be size, might be just under. I'll put my gauge with over here. <laughs> well, you could say it's in, you could say it's over. But when it's that close, let him go. 